Well, hello and welcome to um, the Temple Bar area here in Dublin. It's a real trendy place. Uh, lots of people come over here. It's, it's, it's great for nightlife if you're into nightlife and pubs and drinking and having a crack and hen parties and stag parties. This is the place to come to called Temple Bar. So you have a hard rock cafe here too. Walk the walk, the iconic walk. Learn more about Irish culture. Visit the icon factory gallery. Wow, okay. I love the colour here. Welcome to the famous Irish weather here in Ireland. Rain in the month of August, you know, this is our summer here and we have rain. Here's a lovely pub here called the Oliver St. John Gogarty. Established in 1835. There's a couple of restaurants along here, a Japanese one, uh, an Italian restaurant there. The old Dubliner, Italian coffee and company. So if you're into fishing, that's the shop to go to there, Temple Bar, Rory's, Fishing Tackle. That's an Irish sweet shop in here, right? Oh look at the rock, Dublin Rock it's called there. Not bad. Right, I'm feeling a little bit peckish, I think it's time for the dinner, so I'll go up here somewhere. So if you're into tattoo, tattoos and stuff, it's up there. John Wayne. I don't know who that is. That's um, Brennan, Brennan Behan, the writer. Just in the, the old storehouse pub here in uh, Temple Bar. That's where I got, got to get my dinner, right? And there's some great old photographs here. Um, look at this. The horse and it must be the beer barrels. And that's the Hapney Bridge from 1950. Just looking at the known advertising for the first ever Slane, Slane Castle concert in County Mead, right? And the headline that day was Tim Lizzy. It was uh, the 16th of August 1981, right? And you know who was supporting them that day? You two, up and coming band before they became more famous, right? And remember Hazel O'Connor, the punk uh, girl from England? She was, she played as well, Rose Tattoo. And, um, where did I see something else here? Oh yeah. And there's a newspaper, uh, from, newspaper from 1967, right? The Evening Press. 
evidence of a Nixon cover-up. I don't think that newspaper um, exists today now. So check it out here, the old storehouse uh, Temple Bar, it's a pub and restaurant, right? Um, I got um, a lovely pot of tea there, as I'm uh, very pleased with because I like to get a nice big pot of tea, which I did in there, right? And I got a chicken burger and chips, right? Um, I would call it good. I wouldn't say you know succulent, but I call it good. Um, lots of interesting old pictures of Dublin in here in this pub. And if you're into traditional Irish music and diddly idle do music, as I call it, uh, all these pubs are, they play it all the time over the speakers, right? And sometimes they have live music uh, in the pubs. They haven't got any there today, but check it out. The old porter porter house. Sorry, the old storehouse, uh, Temple Bar. So this building here, this big building here, this used to be the Central Bank of Ireland. It, it has since moved down to the Docklands area in Dublin, right? Brand new, 140 million building, right? And I think, um, not too sure now, but I think they are transforming this into luxury apartments. It will be very, very expensive apartments here. I think that's what we're doing with it. Wow. Looks pretty trendy shop there. Kind of like a, a hippie type shop if you want to call it that. There's T-shirts there of Bob Marley and you know all those mad psychedelic colours of, of um, t-shirts and dresses and whatever in there. Saint Street. Two in here today. I'm just not into tattoos. I'm just not a tattoo type type of guy. But uh, it's a big thing here in Ireland. All especially all the younger people all getting tattoos. Clada Irish Celtic music. It's obviously closed there now. And that there is uh, Irish Irish uh, rock and roll museum experience. So there's a U2 Rory Gallagher, Sinead O'Connor, Phil Linnet. Um, Luke Kelly, Christy Moore, I don't, Van Morrison, Bob Geldof. So, it, I've actually never been in that museum, but it's it's to do with um, all Irish musicians, famous Irish musicians and bands. So they have um, a market here every every Saturday. As you can see, they're just uh, closing up shop here now. But this little little square here in Temple Bar, um, there's a theater over there, right? So they they have, they have live performances over here as well. That thing, see that building over there? See the way it's all closed down, but it comes up and play music over there and stuff. So this is another um, 
one of the many bars, pubs you'll see in Temple Bar called the Snug, right? All these bars here in the evening time, especially in the weekends, will be just thriving. This whole, st all these streets here, just full of people out partying. As I said to you, it's a big, um, this is where they all come to let their hair down, have a few drinks and have the crack, you know what I mean? So, all along here. Right, just across the, across the street here is the Clarence Hotel. This hotel was owned by, you two bought this hotel. I don't know if you still own it. I'm not too sure about that, but um, yeah. I've never been in it, but um, you two, I don't know whether they still own it or, or they sold it, but they did own it at one time. I like this here. I'd rather trust a dealer on a badly lit street corner than a criminal in a three-piece suit. Now that makes sense, doesn't it? Come here till I tell you. Tell you. That's a real dope and saying. Come here till I tell you. Just go down along here, see what's along here. Pictures of people. Art on the wall. That's nice. Love Lane. So people are obviously just writing their names on the tiles along here. Women are meant to be loved and not understood, Oscar Wilde. Um, yeah. Would you lie with me and just forget the world? Right. I don't think I'd hang around along here now too much. There's a guy just round the corner there taking some kind of drug. I don't know what it is. So I just decided I'd exit out of here. That's what I'm saying, like, there's that pub there called, I think it's, uh, I was going to say Robert's, but it's, it's Robert's Restaurant and bar, bar, so it's loads of restaurants and bars, so you won't be stuck for food, and if, you, if you're into drinking, there's loads of bars, it, it, it's renowned for uh, all the pubs and great nightlife here in Temple Bar, if you're into that kind of thing. Some books out here. T shirt there, Free Palestine. Um, I love reading, right? But I don't read fiction anymore. I read only non fiction. And I read everything that I can get my hands on that's non fiction, right? So just on the books and the window frontier, the ones that I would buy would be China's Great Road, that one there, right? And there's one there, Northern Protestants on Shifting Ground by journalist Susan McKay. And um, we are Cuba. How a, how a revolutionary, let me see now. How a revolutionary people have survived in a post-Soviet uh, world. Right, I think it's time for another cup of tea and 
It's a lo lovely little cafe just across the road here that I love. It's called the Joy of Cha. And they sell um, all kinds of tea. You can actually buy uh, tea here and bring it home, you know. But um, I like it. So we let's go over and have a cup of tea here in the Joy of Cha. see they sell we sell loose tea you can take home 50 plus exotic teas speciality hot chocolate with gold classic extra dark white hazelnut coconut and chili mint <laughs> that's grand thanks uh, you know what i can i can i can bless you inside okay good man good man okay thanks Thanks very much. It's gonna be better. Okay. I put this here, it's not a problem, right? Okay. I just love, I just love this little cafe here in Camel Bar. You have to check it out, the joy of char. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Thanks a million. What do you call that there? We would call it Danish pastry. Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, that's the Joy of Char Cafe. I highly recommend that cafe. It's a small little intimate type cafe, right? Uh, they specialise, as I said to you, in different types of tea and coffees and um, confectionery, right? Like I had a Danish pastry there, but um, I love, I love, I just love that uh, cafe, and they're dead sound in there. So check it out, the Joy of Char in Temple Bar. And I'm just, just after looking there, there's a hen party. I'll have to go in into this pub across here. That's what I'm saying. It's all like real party central over here. As you can see, it's just full of bars and restaurants, mainly. Paddy Max. Uh, what's this one called? The, Nor the Norseman. Established in 1696. So it's all like... I definitely have to give this bar the most picturesque bar in the whole of Temple Bar. Uh, it's called, as you can see, the Temple Bar Pub. That seems to be a really trendy bar here, pub in Temple Bar, called the Temple Bar. So if you're if you're a tourist and you're into Irish diddly idle do souvenirs from Ireland, this is a shop here in, in Temple Bar. It's called um, the Temple Bar Trading Company. You get all your souvenir souvenirs of Ireland in there. And here's another bar.
pub, as I said, it's full of pubs here, called the Key, the Keys Bar on the corner here. And this is kind of the main square here in Temple Bar. Um, gourmet burger kitchen in there. Uh, badass Temple Bar cafe and bar, you see? Full of bars. The Old Mill, traditional Irish restaurant and bar. You see what I mean? It's all bars. Dublin Vintage Factory. There's a place called Just Eat. Right people, so that was just a small little example of Temple Bar in Dublin. It's a real tr trendy place, full of, full of um, pubs and restaurants and nightlife. And uh, it's the in place to go if you want to, to, uh, to go out and have a good time. Let your hair down and have a good time. This, that's the place to, to come to, Temple Bar. Right, so that's it from Temple Bar, friends. And um, I'll, um, right, I'll catch you all in the next video. I don't know where it's going to be, but it'll be somewhere. So take care. Have a good day. Bye.